Welcome to day 21 of our 30 days hacker rank coding challenge and today we are going to be talking about generics. The task is we will write a single generic function named print array. This function must take an array of generic elements as a parameter. The exception to this is C++ which takes a vector. The log solution plus your editor takes tests your function. So the easiest way to do this, as I'm going to explain to you about generics, is to simply write a non-generic function and then write the generic function. And then you can see the difference and that will help you understand and appreciate generics. So I'm going to first write a generic, a non-generic function, or let's call it a normal function. And then we write, we convert it to a generic one. So we have to print array to write a function called print array. So I'm going to call it print array. It takes an array of integers. So I'm going to say int a. So this is an array of integers it's going to take. And it's going to print out the elements to the output. So I'm going to say um, for each element, so for each integer element, in A, right? So for each element in A, I'm simply going to print it out to the output. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print line with a print A. So this is a non-generic function. This function is correct. It's going to work, but it's non-generic. So it's going to fail this challenge. So I'm going to convert it to a generic function at this time. And then let's see how it works. Generic simply says that this function will not be an int function or generic says that you don't have to specify the type but the type can be anything. So simply replace your int keyword here with another keyword, possibly T or D or E, but it has to be the same. So at this point, this function has become a generic function. So when it is called, it can be called with an array of ints, or an array of doubles, or an array of characters, and it's, it works uh, fine. So I'm going to put a semicolon here, and let's run this code, and let's see what we have. So I'm going to run the code, and let's see. So you all put java.lang, okay, so I think I missed something. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to print the element, <laughs> so sometimes we... <laughs> We forget some some of these things. The very basic things sometimes we forget, and we do the difficult ones. <laughs> All right, so let me submit this code and let's see if it works. So there are two test cases there, and let's see if both of them passes. All right, so it looks like everything worked fine. The two test cases pass, and if you've come this far, I would like to personally give you a thumbs up for uh, having come this far. And I'd like to also recommend you subscribe to my channel because in this way you don't miss an update when I make new courses or even new challenges. And this motivates me as well. If you have a comment you want to leave me, please write it in the comment box below this video. So we'll see you in the next challenge, which is day 22. But meanwhile, I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.